Hey there, welcome to Storytime with Stacy. I'm Stacy, and I was wondering, do you ever feel different? Or there's something about you that you don't like? I felt that way too. And you know what? It's kind of silly to feel that way because we're all special in our own way, right? Right. So we should like everything about ourselves. And in the story, Olivia's red hair... We're going to talk just about that, okay? So if you want to go get settled, we'll get started. So are you ready to read? Me too. Let's begin. Olivia's Red Hair by Taylor McGrath. Olivia, and she has the most beautiful, bright red curly hair. Olivia loves playing and riding her bike outside. When it is sunny out, Olivia's hair shines bright like fire. Olivia's hair is special because not everyone has red hair like hers. Did you know how special you are? And how special your hair is? Olivia's mom asks her one morning. It was Olivia's first week of school, and she has not seen anyone with hair like hers, and she is feeling sad and alone. So much so that Olivia asks if she can wear a hat to school today to hide her red hair. This makes her mom and dad so sad. Olivia's hair is beautiful, and they want to remind her that she should be proud of her hair. Olivia's dad thinks for a second and then exclaims, I love your hair. Red is my favorite color. Time to go find all the red things we love. Red scavenger hunt, let's go. Olivia and her parents jump up and look around the kitchen to find things that are red like her hair. Olivia excitedly shouts, Apples! Strawberries! Ketchup! Spaghetti sauce! My cup! Great job, Olivia, her mom says with a smile. These are great red things that we love. Let's go outside and see all the red things we can find in the yard. Olivia, what things do you see that are red like your hair? asks her mom. Olivia starts pointing and yelling out things she sees in the yard that are red. Leaves, flowers, bird, ladybug, ball! Olivia is so excited to see all the amazing things in her house and outside that are red like her hair. She wants to keep going and find more. Olivia and her parents jump into the car to search for more fun things that are red. As they drive around, Olivia shouts out everything red she sees. Fire truck, car, plane, red light. Amazing! So many fun things are red just like your hair, says her dad. Olivia and her parents pull up to school where all her friends are outside waiting for her. Olivia takes off her hat and hands it to her mom. The red scavenger hut made her realize that she loves so many things that are red, including her hair. I don't need this, Mom. I love my red hair and want everyone to see. Olivia runs over to her friend, showing off her fiery red hair. Her hair is different from everyone else's, but that makes her special, and she loves it. The end. 
you know, I'm so glad at the end that Olivia ended up loving her really pretty red hair because she really has pretty red hair, doesn't she? Yeah, I think so too. And for the project today, oh my goodness, it's sticking. It's a sticking. I got a sheet here and you can print it out. There's a link in the description below. And it's called What Makes You Special? Look at that. I drew a little portrait of myself. And I drew myself in my red overalls. In my green t-shirt that I wear sometimes. I also got a pair of pink high tops that I like. I also put my glasses on. So you can draw a portrait of yourself and put everything in here on here that makes you special. I even because I love reading stories, I drew a little book on there too. So I would love to see what you draw. So make sure you go ahead and you share this on social media so I can see what it looks like, okay, and what makes you special because I would love to see it. And on that note, I want to thank you so much for reading with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And if this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, I'm so excited that you're back. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do and hit the notification bell so you know when my next story time is going to be, okay? Okay. Well, on that note, I'm going to leave you and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.